So, I'm getting ready. <laughs> it is Monday, October 16th. See, I know the date, because yesterday was the 15th, which was my nephew's baptism. And I today, well, the baptism yesterday was lovely. So my, I, I'm sure I've told you guys, but my sister has three children, three boys. The oldest is three and a half. So she has three very young children. So the fact that they behaved or even came close to any semblance of behaving in church at one o'clock, which is prime nap time, um, was a miracle of the, of, the, of the good Lord. But anyway, so the baptism was lovely. We went back to her house after, and um, like initially we were gonna go out. Is this the perfume I want? Initially we were gonna go out to eat, and then she we went somewhere on Saturday, this really cute little Italian like deli market, like they have a lot of prepared foods in like in White Plains. It's called Forno, I think. And we left, and I said to her, I'm like, maybe we should just get catering for tomorrow instead, because it seems like that might be a better idea. And she's like, oh my God, <laughs> totally. So we literally turned around, went back, talked to the lovely folks there. They're not open on Sunday, but it was, and it was like three or 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm wearing by Killian um, sacred wood. And they're like, we're closed Sunday, but we'll, you know, we can make stuff for you now if you can come pick it up before we close today at six, seven, they close. So my brother-in-law went to collect it at 6.30 on Saturday evening. And then it was perfect because we got back from the baptism. We just heated everything up and it was way better. You know, the kids were running wild. My two nieces were there, whatever. So that was lovely. And then I drove home. My brother who lives in the city, he drove me back yesterday and, um, yeah, so today, what have I been doing? Today, I went to the gym this morning. I actually slept until 8.15. I know in the world of most people, that's probably not late, but boy, for me, that is late. So I slept till 8.15. I, um, I went to the gym. I did weights. I did cardio. I came home. I'm just going to pick out some jewels. And, um... Sorry. Can I take you with me? I came home and um, I don't know that this is really gonna work, but what did I do? I came home, I chatted up my dad, I putzed around here for a little bit, then I went and got a manicure and pedicure at the little place near me called Horde of Snails, which is lovely. And I need to better organize my jewelry in this place because I don't know where anything is. Um, and so, oh God, hold on. Um, I'll just keep talking. Then I just walked around a little bit. Of course the necklace I want is not here. Um, I walked around a little bit and I'll do this after, okay. I walked around a little bit and um, you know, just ran some errands. Went to Whole Foods, got a few things, got some flowers, which I actually need to go put in a vase. And what time is it? at 535 I'm meeting um so a friend introduced me to like a friend of hers so I'm meeting her for a cocktail in like an hour hold on I'm gonna find my necklace and I'll be right back okay so sorry about that I was looking for this Chanel necklace and one thing I have not done is properly organized the baubles here in the New York City pad so okay a few things Thank you, as always, for, okay, I have several things. Thank you so much for all of the, I got so many lovely well wishes on like, you know, my move and all that's going on in my life and, you know, looking for a job and all that. And I really, really appreciate it. Like, I really appreciate all of you. Um, I just, I'm sure I've said this before and I'll say it again. Like, I just love our like little YouTube community. Um, it's part of the reason why I do this because I do like the, you know, the dialogue we have in a, that is a, for the most part, like a positive dialogue. So thank you so much. Um, thank you also for the feedback on the stuff I bought at Zara. So I am taking back 
this gray coat thing. I had kind of thought that anyway, but it was definitely reinforced by many of you. So this is going back. Um, and actually that was on my list of things to do. You know, it's so funny when you're not working. I don't know how you can be so busy that you can't get to Zara to return something when it's like a 10 minute walk away, but somehow that happens. I guess I could have done it after my mani-pedi, but um, I didn't come home in between and I didn't bring this with me. But you know what? I have tomorrow. So this is going back tomorrow. Then, okay, this jacket, I really like, I think most of you did too. I got one comment that it was too big for me, which I don't really think I agree with. I did get one comment that said like this was too, I don't remember the word, but I don't know if too basic or something. I really like this, but I am still debating whether or not this should go back, basically because I have so many other like mid-weight kind of jackets like this that I could wear. I'm not sure if I need this one too, even though I really like it. So. This one is still under consideration. Um, so that's it from the Zara haul. And yeah, that's it. I'm on my way out. Um, I'm wearing, well, you saw the Chanel necklace. This is actually a Bowden top that I just bought. I think I got it in the size. So I ordered two sizes. I ordered, I think I ordered the 12 and the 14, the US 12 and the US 14. The Bowden, the website is good about telling you that like the, the measurements. And while I could tell by the website they would both fit me and they both did. Why did I just hear a noise in here? That was weird. I, um, what was that? Hmm. Weird. Um, oh, that bag fell down. Okay, I put a bag up on a shelf and it fell down. I'm like, what's that noise? So, I ended up liking the bigger size better because it's not too oversized, but the other one was more fitted than I wanted it to be for this type of blouse. So anyway, I'm wearing this Bowden blouse with, let's see if we can get the whole get up in, with this Dior like um, coat dress thing that I've had for like quite some time and I really like, this is one of my favorite pieces of clothing, with my J brand Maria High Rise jeans. Um, And these Jean Vito Rossi booties. Hold on, I gotta get a better angle of this. I gotta work on this, sorry. You know what I'll do? Okay, so there. The Jean Vito Rossi booties. These J. Bram Maria High Rise skinnies, which are like a, one of my very favorite um, pairs of jeans. Here's the blouse. See, it's not really too oversized. This little thing here is removable. And I like the contrasting, like, you know, cuff here. Um, so, anyway, that is the get up. And then, other than that, I'm ready to go. When I went to Whole Foods, I got these really pretty flowers. So I basically bought the roses, like I bought one package of roses and one package of this greenery, and I like arranged it in that bell jar, and then I did the same thing in this little mini bell jar. Hold on, let's turn this off. Um, isn't it cute? I think I told you, I decided that, um, there's a really cute florist downstairs, but these, like, to get them to do an arrangement in this mini jar, the lighting is bad. Um, like, it, I paid 20 bucks. And basically, I paid $8 for the thing of roses and five bucks for the granary. So for, you know, $13, I made two arrangements by myself. Um, oh, and then one other thing, I'm carrying this Chanel bag today.
And I've, I actually was going to switch to another bag, but I just don't feel like it. I've gotten a bunch of questions on this bag, most of which I don't know the answer to. So basically the long and the short of it is, I don't know the style name. I definitely have had it for years. Like some people ask if it was new because you haven't seen it. I've had it for years. I just hadn't used it in a while. And when I was coming to New York, I thought that's going to be a good like New York bag, especially if I need something bigger. So I've been using it quite a lot. And um, anyway, loving it. Like I forgot how much I love it. I think it's goat skin. It's like a sturdy, like it's not caviar and it's not um, lamb skin. I think it's goat skin, so it's sturdy. But I think it was a seasonal bag. I don't think it's a classic style that you could find now. But I would recommend if you find something similar, like, and you like, you know, Chanel and you like tote bags, like, I love this bag. <sighs> okay. So I think that is um, it for now. I'm off to, I think I'm going to, so I'm meeting this gal at, she suggested a couple places. I said I picked one of the two. I don't remember the name of it, but it's over in Gramercy Park. So I think I'm going to walk because I can walk there in like 25 minutes and I have plenty of time instead of taking the subway. Walking is much nicer. It's cool out, like feels like fall. So I think my hair is blonder, by the way. So, you know, I went to a new person and she did. a So my actually I went to new people. The new place that I go to is um, Let's sit down for a minute. The new place, what time? Oh, I gotta go, I don't have time. I'll do this quickly. The new place I go to is one of those places where you go to a different person for cut and a different person for color, so I had two new people. And um, I really like them both. But I think with my color, like I had been doing that like root shadow, which was making it a little darker and more like, I don't think she gave me as many low lights and I don't think I really got the like root shadow look that I had been going for. But I knew that when I left that day, so I think when I go back, I'm gonna tell her to like make it a little bit darker. Um, but I really like the cut. Although I did get one comment from somebody recently that you, something along the lines, you don't like my haircut, or I don't know if it's the cut. The problem is sometimes when I get comments like that, I don't know what the real feedback is. But it was a comment that you didn't like my hair, I think in relation to the fact that I went to someone new, but I don't know why. Is it the cut, is it the color? I mean, I actually really like the cut. I do like the color, it's just not what I was really looking for. <sighs> so that was a mouthful. Anywho, I'm off. Just a quick morning update. It's early, it's eight. I am getting ready to go to a little breakfast meeting. I'm wearing my um, Celine initial necklace, the Chanel this other Chanel necklace, although I've got it layered. Um, a Vince top, a Stella McCartney jacket, my Gucci Marmont bag, my Jean Vito Rossi booties, and these are those new um, Zara trousers. So that's the whole get up. So yesterday I, um, oh, I went to a new Pilates place over on the Bowery. So I was taking for a long time individual Pilates um, class, like private training sessions, but I found this place over here and I really liked it. So I bought like a little introductory like pack of three and they're like, I think the classes can fit 10 people or something in each. Um, so I'm definitely gonna go back. I definitely liked that. And then after my little um, meeting this morning, I don't have anything else planned today until this evening, one of my friends from Boston is in town. I'm gonna have dinner with her. So that's very exciting. And that's it. I really want to go there. I was going to go yesterday to the Whitney, one of the museums I wanted to go to yesterday, but it was apparently closed on Tuesdays. And then there's also a Broadway show with Clive Owen called M Butterfly, which is actually based apparently on a true story. So I really want to go see that. So I don't know if I'm going to do either of those today, but those are definitely on my list to squeeze in. Um, but anyway, that's the, that's the gist. And actually you can probably see my necklace is better this way, um, than when I was doing the other way. That's it for now. So I'm back from my little breakfast meeting. It was actually really helpful. It was somebody my sister knows. 
Um, and it sounds like she has several people she can connect me through to, so I hope that all pans out. And I am home. I've just done a quick costume change, and I am going to, um, the lighting is weird. I'm going to go see M. Butterfly with Clive Owen, which I'm so excited about. Um, so I just threw on some jeans and a sweater. I was going to throw a jacket on over, but I think by now, like, it's supposed to get to be 70, so I feel like I should be fine. Um... So I'm off. So I'm basically wearing the same jewelry as before. Um, this is just a cost sweater, my Gucci belt, these three by one jeans, and the same Jean Vito Rossi booties I wore earlier today. Um, I'm like, this angle is not so nice. So anyway, so that is the story for now. Um, see ya. Oy. almost toppled over. So just a quick catch up. It's mon Monday, October 23rd. All right, it's not going to topple, I don't think. Um, so this weekend, I had a fun weekend. Alicia came to visit me on, well, she didn't come to visit me. She was in New York on Thursday and Friday for other things, but I got the chance. So she, the BCRF had its annual luncheon in New York on Thursday. She went to that. And then Friday she was working, and then she came and stayed with me Friday night, which was really fun. We had such a fun night. We went for, so I on Thursday, it was so nice out, and I decided I was going to wander. Um, like I walked from the Lower East Side where I'm living, all like I took Bleecker Street, and I went all the way through, um, like basically through the village and then through the West Village and then into the meatpacking district and up onto the High Line. So I walked there and then I walked back and on my walk, I found like, you know, I saw all these cute restaurants and I was making notes of places I'd want to try. Um, oh, and I had a little lovely little lunch that day by myself at Bouvet, which um, had been recommended to me some time ago. It's super cute. Like really like simple little menu. Um, just a total lively, like, neighborhoody place. Like, I probably was there at, like, 2 or 2.30 in the afternoon. You can tell it's just one of those places that's busy probably all day long. Um, so, anyway, I had seen, I've been making notes as I walk around of places I want to try. So, I had seen this really cute little restaurant called Piccolo Angolo in the West Village, an Italian restaurant. So, Alicia and I ended up going there Friday night. It was good. The food was good. The service was a little wacky, but whatever, it's fine. Beforehand, we had dinner at a really cute little, like, cocktail wine bar a few blocks away called Entwine, and it was such a beautiful day, and they had a nice little, like, a tiny little, like, back patio. It probably had, like, you, you probably couldn't fit more than 10 people out there, um, but we got a little table out there, and it was so lovely. And then after dinner, we said, oh, let's, you know, while we walk back, you know, we'll find somewhere to have one more drink. And oh my God, as we were walking, there was this little lady. I, I, I don't think she could have been more than five feet tall. And she was hunched over, like so horribly hunched over, basically in the shape, almost like a candy cane is the only way I can think to describe it. And she was crossing the street by herself with a shopping bag in one hand and like a little wheelie, I don't know if it was like a little wheelie backpack or like a tiny little wheelie suitcase. And so we turned to her and I said, you know, excuse me, can we help you? So we helped her. We literally helped her home. We got her to her apartment building. She lives in a six floor walk up at 94 years old by herself. I, Alicia said to her, you know, I, she said, we're so happy we can help you, but you should not be out at night by yourself like this because anybody could just take advantage of her. I mean, it was just... It's heartbreaking that she's by herself. Anyway, we literally carried her stuff all the way up the floor. Like, I don't know how, I, I, I'm living in a six floor walk up and I can barely do it. And I'm a healthy, you know, I'm not young, but I'm way younger than she is. Um, anyway. So then we went to the Crosby Street Hotel and had one last drink there. And then we were both up and out early on Saturday morning because she was heading back to Boston and I had to go up to Westchester. My The oldest nephew, who is three and a half, 
I don't know why they did it on a Saturday, but his school had a little, like, you know, bring someone to school day. So I took him to school, and we played and had treats and whatever. So it was lovely. And then I, you know, I spent the weekend up there. So this morning I had a really good meeting um, at one of the prime brokers here in New York who hopefully can introduce me through their network to some possible jobs. And um, I got a call from someone else through another introduction that I'm going to talk to this person tomorrow about a job. So things are slowly starting to move on the job front. But I talked to my friend Sandy today and she's like, I just feel like you just don't work anymore. I'm like, I feel the same way. Once I go back to work, the world's going to come crashing down. Okay, I have to go. Because um, I am now off to... So I got my nails done at that place, Hortus Nails, a week ago today. Hardly a chip, and this is just normal nail polish. Like, this isn't the gel-like or the gel or anything. So I'm going back to the same gal that did my nails last week, and then I'm off to meet um, a friend of my sister's for drinks. Um, and that's it. And I'm basically just wearing, I know, the Stella McCartney jacket that has gotten mixed reviews from you lovelies, but I really like it. My Chloe bag the Celine necklace. This is an And Other Stories white shirt. I'm wearing the AG jeans I like to wear and I'm wearing my Chloe booties. So let's see if we can back up and do a little full review. Uh, hold on, let's just do it this way. So there you go, bag. See, this is a nice like length just white shirt, Chloe booties, the necklace, uh, you can't see the necklace, but whatever, it's fine. Um, <laughs> so, I'm out of here. Are we on? I think we are. Oh my God, so I've been a lump on a log most of the day today. I really have no excuse. I did go to the gym this morning. Um, and then I came back, I like made myself some lunch and then I actually, I guess, I feel like a lump on a log because I've been in most of the day, but I had like a phone, not quite an interview, but a phone, like an exploratory phone call today. And so I had to kind of get ready for that. And I think it went well, and I'm actually gonna go meet with this guy and his, like, the people. It's a really small company at the moment, it's a startup. So I'm gonna go meet with them next week, which is really good. I've had a good week on the, like, job search front. So I had a few good leads, a couple good phone calls. Like, all from networking, crazy enough, not through, really, headhunters. Um, anyway, it's a slippery slope, because this is my life now. Judge Judy. <laughs> I, you know, you just easily get sucked into all this nonsense when you're home. Between Judge Judy and Dr. Phil, I'm like, it's pathetic. Anyway, so I'm going to get ready shortly and um, get myself dressed because I'm going to go meet. So a friend of mine... Um, introduced me to a friend of hers here in New York and I'm gonna go meet her for dinner tonight so the question of the moment is like what to wear um, I'll probably wear something with jeans I don't know it's a little chilly I was thinking maybe I would wear this blouse which is from Bowdoin with my um, I don't know how that's gonna go though with my bomb on jacket I was thinking maybe I'd wear my bomb on jacket and some jeans um, Oh, I got these awesome kind of sock style booties from Stuart Weitzman. The heel is a little thinner than I would generally like, but I really like these. So I also kind of want to wear something with those tonight. So stay tuned. Okay, so what I decided is this is the Marnie top that I had bought in um, Charleston at Hamden Clothing that was totally way on sale in the summer, which is a perfect um, like fall winter top, I think. It's got, I don't know, you can't see, sorry, but it's got buttons all down the back, but I can slip it on and off without undoing the buttons. These are the jeans, 
I think the AG jeans that I've been living in. Here are the new booties. I'm wearing this um, Hermes cuff. And I'm gonna throw on this jacket. Let's see. This Simone Rocha jacket that I also have not worn yet. Um, because I also got this at Hamden, hold on, in South Carolina. And you know, I bought it in July. Like I clearly wasn't wearing any of this in July, but oh my God, I love it so much. So that is the get up. Um, okay, so now we have to put the makeup on and I thought we could chat about, I need better lights in here. Um, sorry. Let me see if I can set this up here. Okay, so I can chat you up while I'm doing my makeup. So there is this blog. There are not a lot of like proper blogs that I really religiously follow anymore because I really love YouTube so much now. But there's this gal that has this blog called The Feather Factor, and she, where's my thing, um, she, she, I think I started, I've never met her in person, but I think I started following her, she went to grad school in Boston, I want to say she got an MBA at either Harvard or, or MIT, somewhere one of the like fancy really good schools in Boston there are a lot of them but so somehow in that world I came across her blog a long time ago she since moved out I think I want to say she lives in California for some reason I think maybe she lives in the San Francisco area and she had a job out there but she's now since had at least one kid maybe two or she's pregnant with the second I don't know the whole story but the point is, I still follow her blog, and really now her blog, I don't know, she posts a few random things, but every Friday she posts a weekend update. And I always find her weekend updates to be really interesting. So there's usually like information on some sales, maybe a shopping thing she's coveting, and then there are some like articles that she's really enjoyed that week and whatever book she's read that week. And the art, the articles and books are always what I really go to her blog for. And this past Friday, there was an article in the LA Times or a series of articles in the LA Times called the Dirty John series. And oh my God. So I was gonna start reading it, but then I realized it was also available in podcast form. This, by the way, is my new, um, Tom Ford um, is it going to focus uh, I don't know if I can get it to focus anyway ah, it's so annoying why this is my new Tom Ford makeup I'll link it because I, I, my eyes I certainly can't read it um so anyway, I realized it was in podcast form, and so that has been what I have been doing at the gym this week, is listening to the whole Dear John, like I think there were like six episodes, and oh my god, so good. So basically it's like a true crime story, and it's about this woman that like, you know, like a woman, I think she's in her like late 50s, attractive, very successful woman, meets this man, marries him very quickly, much to the chagrin of her adult children. And not because, like, I mean, basically because they just suspected that something was really wrong with him. And so, I'm really annoyed that this wouldn't, like, focus. I don't understand. Um, I don't know. Anyway. So anyway, because they thought he was like a scam artist. And it turns out, like, I don't want to give anything away, but he's no good. And, you know, there's a whole, like, story around what happened with him and her and the family and whatnot. So I highly recommend either reading it or listening to the podcast. Now, having said that, 
If anybody else has any other like good true crime type podcast recommendations, please let me know because I like that sometimes is what gets me to the gym. Like I literally am laying here this morning and I'm like, you know what? I'm ready to go because I want to listen to more of my podcast. So I did that today. I finished that. Um, like for example, if any of you are true crime lovers and listen to these podcasts, I'm going to totally be telling you totally old news, but like the serial podcast, like I was so sucked into that. Um, I'm going to wear, I think I might wear something from this Marc Jacobs palette that you guys have seen before. So anyway, highly, highly, highly recommend. Okay. So that's one thing. The other thing is, oh, I'm almost at the end of season one of Stranger Things and thank God, be, thank God, the dramatics, because tomorrow season two comes out. So I cannot wait. And I'm going to the Burbs tomorrow to see my sister. And she's, she's already watched all of season one. I actually think she's been re-watching it. Um, and so I need to be ready to watch season two. I'm not sure when. I think I only, I think I only have one or two episodes left. So maybe I'll watch one when I get home from dinner tonight. And then I can watch another one on the train to the Burbs tomorrow. Um, because I'm going to just really have to be ready for it. Where is what I want? Um, anyway, I'm like totally, totally, totally sucked in to Stranger Things. Um, that's the news for the moment, I think. Um, I have my eye on a few shopping items. So I've been, obviously I've been limiting my shopping because I'm not working. And I'm living in New York and it's so expensive here. Um, so the shopping I've been doing for the, mo I mean, yeah, I just bought myself a pair of shoes. But you know, in the grand scheme of shoes, they weren't the most expensive shoes I've ever bought. But I've been doing really more like, you know, kind of high street shopping versus high end, like the Zara kind of stuff. Um, I did, by the way, take back, I don't know if I told you guys this already. See, the problem is I film and then days later I do it again before I've gone back and rewatched what I already told you. So if I repeat things, I'm so sorry. I know it's annoying. Um, oh, I don't know what I did here. Um, but anyway, I took back the gray and the red like Chanel pearl button jacket from Zara. I decided the gray definitely you guys, I think I already told you this, the gray you guys definitely nobody liked it and the red was mixed and I just decided in the grand scheme of like all the other like weight of that kind of jacket that I have um, I'm not gonna, I don't need it so I took it back. But I have my eye on a few high-end things. Um, there's a Chloe sweater I like really, really want. Um, so I might buy it for myself. I haven't seen it in person yet, but I was thinking since I'm in New York and I can actually go to the Chloe store, I might go see, it's on Net-A-Porte, um, but I might go see if I can like see it in person. I guess that's better. I don't know that I'm really happy with the makeup today but we'll, li we'll live with it um so anyway there's the mascara yeah so that is the shopping story um i think that's really it like this weekend will be relatively uneventful so tomorrow's friday Oh my God, I went, you know, I didn't tell you this yet. Tuesday night, my brother's like, I haven't seen you in a while, let's meet for a drink. So I met him and one of his work friends for a drink at this really cool bar in the East Village. I'll have to, I'll put the name of it in the screen because I don't remember off the top of my head. But it was on St. Mark's Place, like right off of First. And it's apparently a bar that's been there for like decades and closed. I don't know how many years ago, but then recently reopened 
and it's still it was like very much a divey bar but now like they have real like really good bartenders who you know who know how, who know what they're doing with a cocktail shaker and the like so I met him there I broke one of my rules and that is I generally only allow myself one martini type drink a night because they're so strong and a, well a Vesper is a form of a martini and it's my favorite cocktail and so I had a Vesper and it was a small Vesper and I honestly thought like I thought my brother was going to go home and like spend the rest of it like have dinner with his wife and so I was thinking oh, I'll just have two Vespers and then I'll be going home oh no we ended up, I met him at like 6 and I was out till midnight. We totally whooped it up. So we left that bar, whatever the name of it is, that I can't remember. And we went to, this is my new um, Tom Ford bronzer. We went to, oh, we went to Dirty French, which is like, I don't know why I have so much trouble opening these things. I'm like such a this is so difficult for me it's like there bronzer um dirty french is really one of my favorite restaurants if you're in new york and you've never been i highly recommend it so we walked in it's a tuesday night probably by the time we got there it's like you know seven like prime time probably like between 7 30 8 o'clock and you know i I said to the guy behind the host stand, I'm like, what's the chance you can squeeze three of us in? He was like, I don't really know. He was like, it's kind of prime time. I'm like, I know. But he's like, try, you know, he's like, if you go up to the bar, like, he's like, most of those people are waiting for tables. So that's what we ended up doing. And it was perfect because we nestled in at the bar and it was awesome and oh my god the food is just so like so good I just oh, sorry about that I just love it there so much I need to switch into my other purse um so we had see here's the problem though cuz like now so Robbie's friend my brother's friend that um, he works with had never been there. So I always want people who've never been there to have things like that I've had before. <laughs> like if I think they're really good, hold on the music's loud. And um, and so we got the lamb carpaccio again, which I've gotten every time I've gone there. It is so good. My brother got the duck a l'orange which I had not had before, and it was delicious. Although, we also got that they have this chicken two ways, which is like chicken in a mustard sauce and some fried chicken. So it's really chicken and crepes, but they give you the chicken two ways. So I've had that every time I've gone there before too. And so, um, we got that again. We also, for an appetizer, got they had some sort of, um, I forget, like some sort of like <sighs> southern like ham with, you know, kind of like a charcuterie type thing. It was delicious. Um, but also, it was another one of those nights where, what time is it? Okay, I have time. It's another, it was another one of those nights where like, I'm not sure why I had the glass glass of wine. Like I remember sitting at the bar and my brother saying, like he and the friend ordered another glass and the bartender looked at me and he's like, you want another one too? And I was like, sure. And I did not need another one. Like I don't know what I was thinking. So anyway, yesterday, needless to say, I was hung way over. It was not good. Um, this is another new addition in my life. I actually have a subway card. In all the years in Boston, I hardly ever, ever took the subway anywhere. In Boston, it's called the T. Um, A, because I didn't need to. Like, and, well, for work, I didn't need to because I was so close to, I lived so close to work, I could walk there. But also, Boston is just so small, it's just so easy to take taxis or walk or take Ubers. 
And New York is so much bigger that, and there's so much more traffic, sometimes it's really just more efficient to take the subway. Um, I'll have to review that more closely. Anyway, that's the long and the short of my week. So, yeah, so tomorrow we'll go to my sister's. I don't need sunglasses. Um, and then I'll probably stay there, I don't know, if I'll come home Saturday or Sunday. Monday, I'm actually waiting. So another person through one of my like network connections pinged me wanting to talk to me about a role he has. So I think I'm gonna have a phone call with him on Monday. Tuesday, I'm gonna go in person and meet this guy that I talked to on the phone today. I feel like I have, oh, Tuesday I have a lunch. And next Thursday I have an all day like seminar thing I'm going to. So things are picking up, which is really good. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I just want to make sure you saw my whole outfit nicely. It's hard to see it in the mirror sometimes. i got to clean up some of the mess here. Um, oh, I'm wearing my portrait of a lady. I'm on the hunt for a new, I know I don't need a new fragrance, but like, I ha so if any of you guys have any recommendations, tell me. I have the By Killian Sacred Wood, and I love it. I love that sandalwood smell. However, I want something that has that sandalwood, but isn't all sandalwood. And I haven't been able to find something. A lot of the woodier fragrances I've found are more like oud wood. And sandalwood is a totally different smell. So I've tried a few, I tried a couple other ones from By Killian. Oh, the gal the other day gave me a nice sample. I should have sprayed that on me tonight to wear it again. I can't remember what it is. Um, and then I tried a bunch in Bond. But here's the thing. So there's the Bond, literally the Bond number nine, like the Bond Street one is right across from my gym. And I went in there on the way into the gym the other day to get a sample of, oh, Bleecker Street, which I tried and liked. And then she had me try a few other ones, but they didn't have any samples. Like, how are you a perfume shop and you don't have samples or makes it, like, the Tom Ford counter can make you a sample. Anyway, so I was kind of frustrated because, like, I really need to wear a fragrance, like, for a few days and keep smelling it on me to decide. Because sometimes I like it at first, but then I get sick of it after a day or two. Or sometimes it's, like, vice versa where after it settles, I really like it. So anyway, who cares? <laughs> but the get up, let's see if we can pose this in such a way that you can see the whole thing. Um, see, I'm not getting the shoes in. You know what, I think it's probably that I've got the camera up too high. I gotta figure out what the right place to put this is so we can see everything. you can I guess kind of see the shoes um but I really like I love this coat I'm so glad I'm wearing this um anyway that's all the news that's fit to print for today I might put this together with I have a couple other clips from last week and end this vlog here <laughs> see you soon thanks as always